Happy Monday, everyone. This is Brandon from Life is Puzzling. And first off, before I start this review, I just want to apologize for not really uploading the past few weeks or so. Um, it's been a very turbulent few weeks or so with me um, health-wise. And lately, puzzling has been kind of informatic just because of everything going on. So, But I am back. And anyway, enough soapboxing on to the review. So here we have a rather divisive puzzle brand. I don't think I've ever seen so much love-hate relationships for a puzzle brand before, but here we go. I think this one tops them all. So this is a Siako, I hope I pronounced that right, puzzle. And it's funny because I used to do puzzles by them all the time. When I was younger, these were the main puzzle brands I would find, rather be at Kmart, Walmart and stuff like that. I really shot the Target growing up, so I have no idea if they had them there. But if they did, cool, I guess. I don't really know how to go from there. So anyway, so I decided to get this one because, one, I'm an old school gamer. I love Tetris. Actually, funny enough, I recently played this at an arcade, and it's a lot of fun on any system, no matter what. So I decided to get this one, and... To be honest with you, as you can see, this is below my typical uh, puzzle range. I typically do 1,000 or more, but this was 750. But I wanted to test something out, because a couple years ago, I did another Siako puzzle, and the quality was, eh, if you want to call it that. I mean, not good, but definitely not great. Not worth the money that you spend on puzzles, especially now with inflation. So this one, however, was only 9 bucks on Amazon, so I decided to get it. It was cool. I liked the coloring. I liked the um, layering of it with the old school stuff on the right and then the main um, photos you can see there, labeled Tetris. That was the NES and I believe the Game Boy covers. So anyway, let's go ahead and say this now. This was actually a very fun puzzle, and... I've noticed something. Anything a thousand or more, I believe the highest piece count they do now is two thousand. If I'm wrong, you know, please note in the comments. But I've noticed those ones get very iffy response. And as I said, I I don't know for sure. I really ever get this brand. I'm mainly sick of like Buffalo and stuff like that. But this one, however, definitely surpassed my expectations. The quality was honestly very good. Good. The pieces were very durable. They interlocked great. There was no loose fittings and stuff like that. So I've noticed something. They mainly need to focus more on their thousand or more piece puzzles because it sounds like those ones are the biggest sellers, but yet the quality is not the best. This one, however, I definitely enjoyed. The pieces were, as I said, very thick, very durable. I had no issues whatsoever. Nothing was torn or damaged when I opened the box. And as I said, that artwork is just awesome. If you're an old school gamer like me, of course you're going to want to get it. You know, it's all a striking image, whether you like it or not. But as I said, I personally enjoyed this one. I know a lot of people are indifferent about the brand, but if you get one, hopefully that it is good quality like this one. Maybe they have of their game over the years. I don't know. But in this day and age, I can't go guaranteeing it because a lot of puzzle companies have really gone down in quality. This one was definitely a big surprise. But, as I said, I, I really enjoyed this puzzle a lot more than I probably should have. It was very fun to assemble and actually very easy. It only took me maybe three or four hours overall to build. But, anyway, so Siako, definitely an iffy brand, but this one I enjoyed. And if you enjoy them as well, awesome. If you don't, your prerogative. I was iffy to buy this, but I'm kind of glad I did. So, this is Brandon from Life is Puzzling signing off. Have a great one, everyone. Take care. Mm -hmm.